I'm Kate Noel. I'm a fourth year medical student at the University of Mississippi. Um, and I'm going to talk to y'all about um, pharma, pharma genomic testing for, for drug gene interactions in the treatment of resistant Alzheimer's dementia. So pharma genomics is like a really, you know, new and emerging, exciting um, part of our world now. And um, it's it used to be very expensive to get this kind of testing for your patients, um, but now um, it's become a little bit more um, available. And so the case that I worked on was an 89-year-old female um, with hypothyroidism and Alzheimer's dementia. Um, and she and her daughter presented to the clinic and they were having a lot of trouble um, with her agitation at night. Um, she was just, the medicines we were putting on, her on weren't working and they were just kind of out there with end. Um, and so the daughter was like, hey, have y'all ever heard of gene sight? Um, and we were like, no, but we will totally look into it and, um, and see what it offers. And <clears throat> so, you know, we had tried all of these drugs with her, mirtazapine, bupropion, um, elazapram, and sertraline. And it's like, sometimes they'd be effective at certain doses, and then, it, you know, it would not go as well. And so we would we're switching up all the drugs all the time. Um, but gene site, we were able to send um, in a swab for her, it's very easy. Um, you just have to make a profile um, as a provider with them and you can send in a swab and they're able to um, send back some, some data about her, her different SIP enzymes and her metabolism of certain drugs. Um, and we found out that she was a poor metabolizer of CYP2D6, that she was an intermediate metabolizer of CYP3A4, and an ultra rapid metabolizer of CYP1A2. Um, and so this kind of showed us that we needed to put her on a higher dose of sertraline, um, and that um, because she is heterozygous for a long promoter polymorphism of the serotonin transporter gene, she needed to have that higher dose. Um, and so we also learned that, um, that she needed that, um, that quetiapine was going to be better for her at night, um, due to her, um, we lowered her dose and due to her metabolism. Um, and we've been very successful, um, with, with the data that we got back from gene site and, um, have definitely helped, helped them out a ton, um. Because in the, you know back in the day and still now a lot of times you just have to try different um, different drugs to see what's going to work for these patients' agita agitation and it can be a long process of of trying different things and um, and with gene site we're able to get get this data back and really you know change these people's lives for the better um, and the great thing about gene site. Um, is that it's covered by Medicaid, uh, part, yeah, by, by Medicaid, most commercial insurances, and uh, Medicaid, Medicare Part B. Um, and I really, this poster is really just, I want to spread the good news, and I want <clears throat> to tell a friend, you know, about how great GeneSight is, um, and, you know, have other, other physicians use this um, in their practice, and it can I, it can help us and our patients um, for the better, for sure.